I have been dying for some snow photography and since it absolutely refuses to snow back home, we drove to it. Here at Starved Rock State Park, Northern Illinois, I have been dying for some snow photography and since it absolutely refuses to snow back home, we drove to it. And as you can see, this is what they call a light snow <laughs> here in Northern Illinois. So I'm on the hunt for frozen waterfalls today, so I'm going to stop at the visitor center and see if uh, any of the guides know what might be the best place to, to get some photography. So, um, and also, these trees are finally gonna get coated with some snow. That should make out for some, some really good pictures. So I am super excited. Give me just a minute to figure out where we're going. And then we'll head that way. Okay, well we went to our first waterfall and uh, it is pretty cool. It's called Waterfall, or Wildcat Canyon and it's a 90 foot frozen waterfall at the moment. And from what I understand it is frozen all around the outside but still has some um, running water down through the center. Uh, so there's actually um, a creek running through here that we have to be careful of so we don't step in it. Uh, but I'm gonna turn around and kind of give you the shot that I'm looking at doing here. So we can get this, this tree right here in the frame, kind of as my foreground. Then there is, if I can get my umbrella out of the way, there's the frozen waterfall behind it. Um, so I'm using the umbrella just to help keep snow off of my lens in between shots. And actually I can just kind of hold it up out of the way to, to keep it, um, keep the, whoops, excuse me, keep the snow off of the lens. Um, the settings I'm using right now are, uh, I want to try and capture the falling snow, so I got it set as fast as I could get it uh, without bumping up the ISO. So I have that at ISO 100, um, F3.5, and the shutter speed was like uh, 125th of a second. I am bracketing these 
Now, I'm not really sure why the, the main exposure does look pretty clean. Uh, histogram looks really good, so um, I always just like to get the extra, extra frames so that if I need anything, uh, I can pull it out of there if I have to. Um, so let's go ahead and fire off a couple shots and take a look at them. Okay, so here's the shots that we have. This is the overexposed, so you can see how it really blows out all the snow, but it brings in the detail of the rocks. And then uh, this is the, I think actually that's the underexposed. And then the correct exposure there. This actually looks pretty good on the camera. Uh, we'll just see what it looks like when we get it back home and look at it on the computer. Salle Canyon Falls, um, but on the way there we cross over this bridge that I remember from the last time we were here and I wanted to get a picture of it and uh, I'm going to turn around here kind of give you give you the view. So there's the bridge there and I actually like crossed down over um, over the river over there to take kind of these reeds in the foreground, the bridge in the background and uh, there's a little bit of blue in the sky that uh, kind of came and went. I don't know that I got too much of it in the picture because the clouds are moving pretty good, but uh, I've been wanting to get this shot for a while and the only way I could do it is when the river was frozen. So uh, I just got back from doing that and uh, let's take a look at that one. 